Welcome back. Congress can't agree on a long-term budget plan, but they have agreed on one thing. It should be illegal to protest near the president or the Secret Service. Is that an assault on free speech? Let's talk to Fox Senior Judicial Analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. Good morning to you, Judge. Good morning, Judge. Stevie. The answer to the question is yes, it is an assault on free speech. You have the right to make your opinions known in such a way that you're not blocking traffic and you're not blocking right. uh, pedestrians. Or the president's car goes by, you can say, hey, Mr. President, we love you. We hope you get reelected or start packing. Sure. You know, everybody wants to make sure that our president is safe. But the Secret Service not only providing security in this instance, but it, essentially you're saying they're checking the content of signs and whatnot. This is a very dangerous piece of legislation. There were no committee hearings on it. There was no debate on it. And the president signed it in secret. It was passed unanimously by the Senate, and only three members of the House of Representatives vote against it. It basically lets the Secret Service decide who gets near whoever they're protecting, not just the president. Right. It could be Hillary Clinton. It could be the vice president. It could Romney, be uh, Mrs. Newt. Mrs. Obama. Exactly. And the Secret Service can make that decision on the basis of the content of your speech. So if you have signs that say, start packing, Mr. President, the Secret Service can whisk you away. If you have signs that say, we love you, Mr. President, the Secret Service will let you stay, or has the authority to let sure. you stay. That is using governmental power to discriminate on the basis of your opinions, the content of your speech. That's what the First Amendment was written to prevent the government from doing. Well, even though most Americans haven't heard about this, so you got to look at some of the penalties. If you are charged, fine and prison term up to one year or up to 10 years if firearm is used or serious injury is caused as well. What are, what are they trying to do here? I think they're trying to insulate people in the government from the opinions of the rest of us. Remember, this statute... They're building a wall. Right. This statute doesn't say there's a bubble around the president. This statute says there's a bubble wherever the Secret Service wants the bubble. Right. It's letting the Secret Service, we know that some of them are great and some of them are not so great, deciding where we can stand when we protest. That is a profound violation of the First Amendment. The government doesn't seem to care about our civil liberties anymore, and the American public need to know that. Fox received emails from a family in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The president's motorcade was coming down our street. We were standing in our front yard with our infant children. The Secret Service made us get out of our front yard and go into our house because they didn't want the president to see us. Oh my That's goodness. not America. That is unusual. All right. Well, I'm sure they had a good reason, right? They didn't give one. Okay. And they shouldn't Get have that authority. It. You should be able to stand on your own property. Just to wave. I mean, that's Absolutely. historic. The president doesn't drive by every day.